guys, Charm Bridge here and welcome back to my channel and today as you can tell by the title we have our empties for the month of August. Our uh, empties for the month of August. I always like forget my months. So yes, this is everything that I've used up in the month of August. I think there's a lot so I don't want to ramble on too much because I always say there's not a lot and then there is when I get into it. So if you are new here subscribe to the channel and see what else there is to come and if you do enjoy the video please give it a big thumbs up. It is what gets me noticed here on YouTube. If you don't enjoy the video and you want to leave a thumbs down that's absolutely fine too. So let's get in to these empties. So as always I have a big bag of empties here. I don't know how I do it each month. Like I don't know. I think I'm not using a lot and then all of a sudden like right at the end there's just loads of stuff in there. So I'm gonna stop rambling and get into this bag because there's a lot. Right okay so I'm gonna reach for this one first so this is obviously a cereal offender for me you guys see it every single time this is the Schwarzkopf got to be too sexy volumizing hairspray it is how I get my hair in my uh, rolls in my suicide rolls or my victory rolls or whatever it is I'm doing or just my hair in general makes it super hard doesn't move went to real recently and my hair did not move on the beach and it was super windy so it was great um, I have also tried a new one um, it's a VO5 one I took it as like a little something to back up like because it was smaller for our suitcase because we we're only going away for a couple of days um, and I have to say super impressed by that um, but yes this is my cereal offender I go back to this every time I love it then we have a little pouch which contains some bath salts from my bath box if you've never seen my bath box unboxings before I will pop the, the playlist up here or you can just search the playlist in my videos if you want to do that um, but yeah I get a bath box every month kindly gifted to me and I love their bath salts and that's one of those the next thing we have is a rituals products and this is the ritual of Ara Aravida, I'm so good, bad at pronouncing. So this was a nurturing shower oil. I've never tried that before. It was really nice. I don't know if it was my favourite. Um, I can smell it a little bit. Obviously, um, if you haven't seen it already, I have had co uh, coronavirus, um, and my sense of taste and smell is just all over the place. I think I can smell things and then I can't. I think I can taste things and when I start eating, I can't. It's just a whole hot mess. So yeah, this is like a rose one, I think. I'm sure it's roses. Um, but yeah, I can't smell it very well, but I can smell it a little bit. It's kind of my nose, uh, but it, it was really nice. It was different. I don't know whether I'd use, I've got another shower oil to use from my latest in beauty uh but i don't know i like the foaminess that you get sometimes from a normal shower gel so or my whip soap from bubble bees i love that so the next thing we have is an avon census this is a spring bloom um uh, it's okay i i it, it was a shower gel it did what it did um i thought it smelled like citrusy when i smelled it before i used it but it actually isn't it's like a little bit citrusy but it's mainly floral so it was okay don't think i'll pick it up again then we have this. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Strengthening Conditioner. It's the Honey Treasures one. Um, yeah, it was quite nice. Um, I used it for a bit and then I spotted some, uh, what is it called? What is it called? It's a lip balm. Oh, it's my favourite and I can't remember what it's called. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, I can't remember. I found a... Uh, if I remember, in fact, when I go downstairs to edit this, I'll pop it up here. Um, I found in Home Bargains a shampoo and conditioner from a brand that I absolutely love and I can't remember it because oh, it's late and I can't remember. So I gave her the rest of this, which she used on her hair and she did like it. Um, and I went on and used mine. If it comes to me in a second, I'll say it. But if it doesn't, I'll have popped it up on screen because I can't remember. I can't remember, but I, I really love it. And I've nearly finished it, so it'll be next month's empties. So the next thing is we we have some Imperial Leather Cotton Clouds and White Cashmere. I do you like the Imperial Leather? It is nice. They have some nice fragrances. Not that I can smell anything right now. But I can smell that a little bit. Um, uh, and my kid, my, my daughter uses it too. I usually get her like a, a really nice, cutesy sort of smelling one. She likes that. Um, but this was one yeah this one was really nice it's a moisturizing shower cream they're only like a pound as well so it's like a bit of a, a bargain so the next thing we have is a bath box package which had a bath bomb in it so again you'll have already seen the link for my bath box then we have this i want to give away from candy cloud skin on instagram they sent me a box of goodies with their scrub in it and they also sent me a cbd cream which i forget what it's called but it was it um was it 
uh, canna canna cream canny creamer something like that but there's lots of goodies in the box it was around christmas last year and this is christmas cookie sugar scrub and i finally finished it it's really really nice can't smell anything <laughs> but it is really really nice if you want like a really nice natural sugar scrub this is 100 percent natural ingredients all handmade it's got coconut oil olive oil almond oil jojoba oil vanilla essence cinnamon essence and natural fragrance oils it is really nice it gives you a good scrub i highly recommend it um if you you haven't seen that giveaway video i can always link it up here if not go and check out candy cloud skin on instagram they're on there so what else have we got? We've got two of these. So this is obviously my normal colour, which is Canary Yellow from Crazy Colour. If you look under there, there you can see my little wispy hair underneath my wig <laughs> sticking out. Um, but yeah, I've just recently topped up my colour. So they're in there. I think this one was like a quart, like like had two quart, two quarters. I don't know, it was it, it only had like a quarter out of it and this one was full. That's generally how much I use on my hair when I recolour it because I like to properly cover it in colour. But I really do like that colour. I've stayed it longer than I thought I was going to stay yellow. I'm kind of digging the yellow right now. I don't know whether I'll change, but I might. The next thing we have is a bubble tea pear bath salt. Really did like these. Don't think I can smell them right now. I'll smell them anyway. I can smell something, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, really like them. These were in home bargains. So if you love bubble tea and you want a bargain, get down to home bargains. I think they were like... Are they one pound fifty? It's either one fifty or two pounds, which is like this is a big bag. How much is in it? Five hundred grams. This is, did me a lot of baths, and they also had the bath crumble, which you'll have seen in my previous month's empties. So it was really good. So hop down there and have a look and get a bargain. So the next thing we have is uh, by Eliza Grace Stories uh, number one. This is hand and body lotion. This smelled really nice it was a lovely lovely body lotion the only problem is it was like super creamy and the pump like i don't know it just couldn't cope with all the creaminess of the the foundation foundation of the lotion so sometimes i had to sort of open the box and squeeze it out like you can see a little bit of it on there i smell it a little bit it smell it does smell like a a, a really nice like expensive perfume um i loved it um, but I just hated the fact that the pump was really hard to work with. That's the only thing I think that I would complain about because the, the body lotion itself was amazing, amazing. I loved it. Ooh, I won that in a giveaway as well. That was a giveaway from, oh gosh, Indie Box, the Indie Box on Instagram. Um, they did a collaboration with Beauty. Oh, I forget, and this was in their box. I forget, I did win a giveaway though from the Indie Box and that was in it. So, the next thing we have is a mud masky product. This is the After Mask of Vitamin Serum. It's pH balancing. So basically, when you've done a sheet mask, um, they say that your, your face sometimes needs the vitamin boost, I guess. So you pop this on after your sheet mask or your face mask or whatever it is you've used. It's extra smoothing, anti-aging, feeding, protecting and nourishing. And um, yeah, it's quite nice. I can't remember whether it smelt of anything, but I don't know whether I would buy it. Well, one mud mask is super expensive, but I don't know whether I would like want to use it again and again because I don't generally feel, because I use a lot of sheet masks, I don't feel like they need any extra boost because my skin usually feels good after them. But it was nice enough to use. I wouldn't be mad if I got it again either. So the next thing we have is a Hawaiian Tropic Mineral. This was from Rockerbox, which obviously you may or may not have noticed that I do not get Rockerbox anymore. And they're doing a change. They're making it better. I like they're up in the price. I think so they can get better products in the box. Um, I haven't seen. Well, I'm going to wait for to see what's in the, in the first box, which I think is September, because this is obviously just the end of August when I'm filming this. Um, but yeah, I, I'm intrigued to see the September box, see what's in there, see what I'm missing out on. But they put the price up, I think, so that they can put better products in, possibly. Um, but yeah, I got this in there. It was really nice. Um, it didn't leave a white cast, I don't think, as long as you rubbed it in properly. But it was SPF 30. It was really nice. I like that. I'd definitely use it again. Because you can't go wrong with a bit of Hawaiian Tropic, can you? So the next thing I had, this was from a giveaway from Sussex Sandra. Um, this is Skin & Co Roma. This was a ultra gentle botanical face cleansing gel, morning dew. It was really nice, a nice little cleanser. 
Then we have this, this is Super Eyes Brightening Eye Drops. Um, I don't always use eye drops, but sometimes if, I've, if it's been like the halloween -y season or um, my hay fever's kicking in, sometimes it's nice to just use a bit of a drop just to hydrate your eyes, and these were brightening ones, so I used those. Um, then we have this, this was Bubble Bees. This had a, it was Candyman Bath Bomb in there. I think it was like dust, I can't remember. It might have been dust or something in there. But um, yes, I do love bullies, so you should check those out too. They are on Instagram and Facebook and all that. I think they may be on YouTube too. I think she does demos and like puts her demos up on YouTube. So then we have Hask. This is the Hask Argan Oil Repairing Deep Conditioner. Love this stuff. It smells like, I can't smell right now, but it smells like, a, I feel like it smells like Jaffa Cakes, but I love it. I love using it. My hair feels amazing. And I was smart with this one. I don't know if I won this one or whether I just got it in latest in beauty uh, but i got a couple of uses out of this because so usually i just whack it all on but i got a couple of uses out of it so i'm super pleased that i love that i love that hair mask the hair stuff is amazing then we have the um, mallows beauty marshmallow bath oops <laughs> the mellows beauty marshmallow bath dust um i couldn't smell at the time of this or my smell was just starting to come back what i could smell smelt really good and then they were like little rocks so when you threw them in the bath they sort of fizzed out and popped up and made a little show in the bath they were really cute i would definitely use those again then we have two jeffree star mini liquid lipsticks now they look full but they have dried out sadly they are dead so unfortunately it's time to say goodbye uh, that's the only thing with liquid lipsticks they do tend to dry out um and i don't know i can see that i've used that one a lot because when i scrape it around i can see the gap in there um i loved these lipsticks they were well loved and well used but unfortunately it's time to say goodbye um i need to check all my lipsticks because i do have a lot of jeffree star liquid lipsticks and they are a few years old because i've built up a little bit of a collection and i need to check them because there's no point in keeping them because once they start to go like that they break down really fast on your lips and they start cracking and flaking and i know that's not the formula i know it's just because of their age and they're just ready to go um, and they started to do that. This one was Red Rum, I love it. And this one was Anna Nicole, and I do love them. I got it in like, uh, I think my husband bought it me. It was like the whole selection of the red shades, the minis one, I loved it. I've still got the box downstairs, and it's really hard to just sort of throw the lipsticks away when I've got the box, but um, unfortunately it is what it is, they're done. So they gotta go. Right, then we have a Nourishing Beauty Pro Mask. Obviously you guys know that I'm a brand ambassador for Beauty Pro. They kindly gifted me some masks recently. I think this was one of them, or I got it in a box, I don't know. I do love Beauty Pro masks, so I was super pleased when they asked me to be a brand rep for them. So this one was the Collagen Olive Oil and Rose. Um, yeah, this was really nice. My skin felt amazing afterwards, so I love that. We'll use that again. Um, I said in a previous video, what was it? My latest in beauty. Um, I found Beauty Pro uh, masks in Home Bargains for 49p, so you should totally go and have a look. If you've never tried Beauty Pro masks before and you want to give it a go, go and check out Home Bargains because they were in there. Um, the next thing, we're almost at the end now. Uh, there's, I think, two more. Is it just two more? Yeah. The next thing is Albus Bath. Um, I was, it was desperate times when I had coronavirus. I was just trying anything to sort of you know knock the smell senses back so i put a lot of this in the bath it didn't really do anything at all um but it is really good if you've got like if you've got a bit of the sniffles or a cold the albus bath stuff is so good so the next thing is well the last thing is a little sample this was in rocker box i feel i'm sure it's rocker box it is the ellie Gu uh, ellie saab girl of now this is one of my favorite perfumes it has a special place in my heart it is the perfume I wore on my wedding day um, and I do wear my Ellie Saab sparingly because I don't want it to run out and it has an engraved uh, message on there from my husband because he gave it me on, on my wedding day, on all, my wedding day, on our wedding day. Um, I love this perfume. If you've never smelt this, you need to smell it. It is beautiful. It's not the cheapest, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, that's the last thing. That is my empties for the month of August. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here and stop rambling on too much. I don't want to keep you here longer than you need to be. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you have a great day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is you're doing when you watch this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.